Starfield Shatter Space. Zeke, did mm. you check that out? The Shatter Space? No, I have space? not. I, I still, to this day, feel bad that Starfield, unbeknownst to me, uh, sent me a care package, and I have not played Starfield at all. <laughs> hey, you take what you can get, okay? Yeah. Uh, Co, you played a little bit more than I did. I was out after yep. the two-hour <clears> stint. <throat> um, the opening for me was fine how does it get after the opening once you get to like the planet it and is. experience the content so what i've been saying about what i have played so far is that it is so far the best parts of starfield okay but it is not better than starfield so a lot of people have been like hey you know is starfield good now can i get the dlc and come back and the answer is no, it's it's still Starfield. If if you didn't like Starfield, the sure. DLC is not going to build. It's not going to bring you back to it. However, that being said, um, it is, in my opinion, the best parts of the base game. And what I mean by that is, it's the parts that feel most like what we would have expected from a from like space Skyrim. Um, one thing I really like is that the entire DLC is in a handcrafted large sandbox. We're not doing procedural stuff. We have we have moved away from that. Uh, in the DLC, and we are and we are now running around and doing stuff on the planet. It is an entirely different feeling when you are looking over an area, and everything you see, you know, there's only one of those, and I need to go explore it because there might be something unique in that region. The base game of Starfield essentially like lost that feeling. Sure. And and that was one of the reasons I honestly like really didn't like that direction at all. You know, you saw a building in base game Starfield and it's like, oh, that's a procedural building. I'll just do that later if I want to, because I know I'll probably see 10 more of those in the next few hours. And and that that stinks. So it's been nice in the DLC kind of, you know, going to those areas, exploring them. I will say, unfortunately, I didn't like in the time I've done that, I have not quite found as many unique and interesting things as I'd like. Now, granted, I, I the few areas I explored turned out to be like quest areas in the future. So maybe it's just that kind of thing. Yeah. Um. But you know, it's it it's 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 still a better feeling that I really prefer. So that's good. Um, in terms of the main story and everything I've done so far, it's all been what I'll say Bethesda fine. It's Bethesda fine. It's it's fine for what Bethesda is. Um, which is, you know, it's it you're not gonna get your cyberpunk level storytelling in this. You're never gonna get that from Bethesda. That's just not what they do. So it's it's fine for that. And it's more of that and it's and it's fine. So I'm enjoying it so far. I'm I'm planning on going back and at least doing the main quest because I do kind of want to see where they're going with it. Okay. Especially when I found out that the void horror things, yeah. If you go and zoom in on their knees, there's actually human heads in them. <laughs> sure. Okay. So it's like when I noticed that, I was like, are they doing kind of some weird chaos from Warhammer 40k oh. like dead space thing? Because there's a lot of Warhammer 40k influence here, weirdly enough. Um, where there's like they're the whole way they're doing this like this parallel dimension uh has a lot of chaos in it. Sure. So I'm I'm very I'm hopeful and very curious if they're going to continue this more, in my opinion, very interesting theme uh to the end of the, the DLC story. And I hope they do. But like I like I made a comment during that and I and I hope this isn't gonna bite me in the ass, but when I realized that there were like human faces in these creatures' legs, I go Swear to God, Bethesda, if I finish this DLC and you have not talked about this, I am going to be pissed. About how those things came to <laughs> about, be. About, like, how, why are there human heads in the knees of these creatures? Like, yeah. obvious human heads. And and I'm and I have this I have this really like sad feeling they're not going to even talk about it. <laughs> they might not. I mean, they mentioned that those things were the void terrors, right? That's what they called them. I remember they them did. talking they, they, about they, it. Yeah. They, but, well, it's weird because like and 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 before I I muse and think about it too much, I'm waiting to finish the DLC because they have net they haven't really talked about what it is yet, ah. and like how it functions, and there's some really weird ways that it does function. So like we'll have to see how it all makes sense. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll have to see. The TLDR is. It's it's fine, you know. It it's the the DLC is fine, and and I went in hoping for fine, and and it's fine. So that's that's where we are so far. Yeah, I I enjoyed the opening ship sequence. Like I I thought the the vibe that they were putting there was cool. It, when it got to the planet, it was as you said, Bethesda story, where you're looking mm -hmm. at a you know a model in front of you and it's talking to you and 
Maybe the game's going to like <laughs> be very slow. Lots of dialogue yeah. that has nothing to do with what you're talking about. Yeah. You know, yeah. Well, very I mean, slow it, pacing. It's also uh, in, in this one, I don't know if it was, uh, I don't know what review or who said it, um, but someone basically said it was like quintessential Bethesda that you go and visit this place that everything up till now has talked about how they're like recluse and you don't know anything and they don't allow outsiders and then the first thing you do when you walk up is, want to join? <laughs> it, it, there's there's a there's a lot that we've talked about on this show yeah. about like especially when I was playing Starfield and Cyberpunk in parallel, where one of one of the games Cyberpunk makes you feel like a small part of a giant thriving world. Yeah, and then you go into a game like Starfield, and Starfield makes you feel like you are the world, and that everyone is there for you. And, 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 and it's a completely different feel. This DLC is a perfect example of that. Yeah. You show up to the DLC, you're the first person that's ever been there, you take the test and instantly become the chosen one. Some people love you, some people don't accept you and you have to prove yourself to. <laughs> and it's like, you know, it's, it's the exact same type of, of you are the story. Everything is happening because you are there pushing it forward. It, this world wouldn't exist without you kind of thing. Yeah. And uh, and that is very much so far a theme of the DLC. <laughs> that is a that is a theme of Bethesda stories generally kind as a whole. Of, exactly. That is, yeah. That's yeah. we went from it, Dragonborn to Starborn and you As know, soon and, as and I had that just, pointed out to me, it was uh I did one of those taken back moments of like, oh shit, that's kind of correct. Like that's how it's always been with Bethesda. You are the the chosen one uh, and you are on the path. It's 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 funny because I had I had uh, a long time ago somebody's like so do we just call them like Bethesda guys now like is it just like is that just what it is is it just Bethesda guys and it's kind of like kind of yeah. like they are they they are their own weird like they're all they always kind of do the same story and it's always similar and kind of yeah yeah. Yep. I knew you'd get that joke as a complete weeb. I'm glad you instantly picked up on that. I was yep. wondering if you would. Yep. Hold that thought one second. I just want to know, do you have to pay for this, uh, Starfield? Yes. Like the news? You do? Okay. Yeah. It's, a paid yeah, it's, like, it's okay. like 30 bucks, I think. I think right? it's $30. It's yeah, about it's 10 $30. hours God long. God damn. Which, All right. Which has, All right. which has been, believe it or not, which has been a point of contention. Believe it or not. What? I know. Weird. No I know. Way. I know. Crazy. Um, but here we are. That's yeah. the world we live in. Really, it's the gamer's fault. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, why there's yeah. been any complaints about yeah, the, the, it's like, the gamers. It, it's, it's having a rough go. It dropped to mostly negative in reviews on Steam. Um, <laughs> it's, currently, it's currently 54 on Metacritic, 52 on OpenCritic, which is an all-time low for Bethesda. Like, there's, there's a bunch of... Uh, wow, it is mostly negative with 2,200 reviews. Yeah, yeah, it's not going, uh, not going great for them, for sure. People are um, still pretty oh. upset about uh, the uh, the DLC. Well, I mean, or we have one here. Starfield, um, funny enough, uh, the the person that posted this was Cloud. Uh, it looks like the the lead from Final Fantasy VII. Todd lived in an era before writing was invented, so he can't actually understand the comments <laughs> here. He looks like a circus. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna stop reading this because this gets pretty personal. And frankly, that's that's pretty rude as a top review on Steam. Wow, Cloud is pissed. Um, <laughs> wow, this Dude, gets I, bad. I love anyway. That. I love that he lived in a time before writing was invented. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not even comfortable. We're not gonna finish that one. Um, Holy shit. Here's, here's one that starts out with, there's a lot to hear to be disappointed by. Some of the standouts, and then it, oh, that's a long list. Whoa. Um, oh, okay, moving on. This is it. This is the Bethesda DLC that killed Starfield for me. Wow, next. Yeah, um, people are pretty down on it. Ooh. Which is, like I said, I was, uh, not, shocked isn't the word. I thought the opening was fine. But I guess after that, it like goes back to the Bethesda Dang. formula. Okay, this dude wrote like almost 10 paragraphs. And it starts with, so here's my take on Shattered Space. I love the base game with over 500 hours in it. And he can't recommend the DLC. Damn. Oh. Yeah, people, people don't like their, uh, their Starfield, turns out. Is that a Steam comment? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Does it show their hours played? 
Uh, it does at the top. Actually, I think. weirdly enough, no, it says not recommended, but that's all it says. Oh, okay. oh. lots of reviewers who like the base game don't like the DLC. That's a common theme. Yeah. Huh. Oh, it doesn't show for DLCs. Oh, okay. Well, so you can make a claim like I have fifteen hundred hours in this game, and no one can really check unless Verify. you do some deep diving. <clears throat> yeah. 